Hard luck. The electric vehicles have been around uh, since the 1900s and actually some of the original vehicles were electric vehicles. Of course, uh, gasoline became so inexpensive that electric vehicles got pushed aside just because the sheer availability of fuel. The electric motors, we know they're very efficient, you know, 80, 90 percent efficient. There's still problems with the electric car, but if we get these students involved in the things that are working, they can help attack some of the problems that maybe aren't solved yet. We have over 30 clubs in the College of Engineering, and in this case, uh, the electric vehicle team gives a few of those students something that they can gravitate toward and work on. One activity that came to mind is this Electrothon. It is a national program. It's a small, single-seated vehicle with 74 pounds of sealed lead acid batteries, and uh, the challenge is to go as far as you can in an hour. One of the things that we're doing that's different from the other teams that are competing is we're using an alternating current system, which is something that most commercial vehicles will use. And so we think that giving students a chance to get familiar with how those systems work, they allow you to recapture energy when you're braking rather than burning up energy when you're hitting the brakes. You can absorb that energy back into the battery. These types of energy recapture systems are, are common not just on electric vehicles that are going to be more prevalent, we hope, but they're also common in uh, other industries. We're hoping to try something unique. This year is a supercapacitor based vehicle. Supercapacitors don't have the energy density that they need, but they can be charged and recharged really fast. Getting students involved in some of these projects gives them an entree into different disciplines. And so what we're looking for is they find something that sparks their interest, gives them a reason to pursue a solution to world problems. And maybe it's getting the student involved in supercapacitors and they go on, they get the background they need, and they find a solution that allows to, us to increase the energy density of an energy storage device and gives us a great alternative to other fuels. That's what we're looking for.